Hey, how's it going? And today we're going to do just a super easy tutorial on how to make a curtain in uh, Lightwave that you can bring into Lightwave. This is uh, so easy, it's it's not even funny. So this is using Marvelous Designer. I'm still just getting used to this program, and so that's one reason I just want to do something real easy. You just come up here to the uh, rectangle tool and you click that, and then you just click and drag. You make a little rectangle like that. And then what you'll do is you'll come and you'll make another rectangle bigger than that one. Just don't touch the floor. This is the floor down here. And then what you do is you come over on this side here and you click on here and you right click and go freeze this rectangle there. And then all you got to do is you come up here to the segment sewing. And this is so easy. You click here, you click there, and then you click there. And then what you do when you're done with that, you can, I'm turning the scroll with her. You just hit simulate and you just let it go until it gets to where it's hanging, where you think it's about right. And then you hit the space bar to stop. And then all you got to do is come over here and select that and just delete. And believe it or not, that's your curtain. That's how easy, how easy is that? <laughs> and you go file and you're going to go export object. And I got a bunch of stuff here already. I tried this a couple times and I'll just go curtain three, save, go. We can leave this all on the default and go, okay. And then what we'll do is we're just going to jump over into Lightwave. There's a curtain I already did. I'm going to show you something here. And then we just go load and uh, load object. And there's our curtain and we go, okay. And there it is that easy. Now I'm going to, um, zoom in here a little bit here let me position myself i want to get a little bit closer i want to show you something that's really cool about light wave here if we're on the object here i can just rotate it but i think this is really great like all the stuff you can do i haven't even literally touched the surface of what is capable with the um, marvelous designer and so I hope to be exploring it more. I bought it when it was on sale. Unfortunately, I just didn't have the time to play around with it. So I've just started messing around with it. But it's pretty great. Okay, and now there's our curtain. Now what we can do is if we go into the surface editor, we can switch from standard to principal um, BSDF. And I'll just give it a, uh, it's already on smoothing. One thing, I don't know if this matters, but you could also try to increase the subdivision here to 12. And then the other thing, you can do is oh, i meant to give it a color is uh, just give it a color make it a uh, light blue or something whatever color you want your curtains to be make a light blue or something like that and then we go into vpr and there it is and of course we can if we click on the light if it's too bright we can i don't want camera there i want the light properties we can we can back off the light a little bit there if we want to Darken it up a little bit, it's a little too bright. Now I notice on this uh, render that it's uh, it seems like it has quite a bit of noise and it's so easy to take care of that. All you gotta do is go into render properties. And this is a really nice feature that they have added here on the noise filter. If you go to noise filter and you go on GPU, it cleans all that noise up like really, really nicely. So it, it might take a little while to uh, render out but you'll see how clean that is look at that that's really great that's all there is to it now there's a ton more stuff you can do with uh, marvelous designer so if you have uh, some neat ways of making things feel free to to share those but this is kind of a fun quick and easy way to get started with creating some really cool stuff in uh, marvelous designer and lightweight so anyway take care have a great day and i'll talk to you next time